Estou un poco doente. That means I'm a little bit ill. Yeah. Are you are you a little bit ill? Yeah. Oh, uh, por, ¿por qué? No sé. Okay. No sé. Ainda no sé. Ainda no sé. <laughs> de, ¿cómo, se, ¿Cómo se dice? Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Um, did you sleep well last night? ¿Dormiste bien ontem? Let me open that document. I can't find that document. Have you shared it with me? Or is it just you give me the link? Because you can share okay. it with me so I have it in my Google Drive because I wanted to edit it but I can't find it. Okay. Uh, so if you send me the link, I'll show you. It's easy. Okay. Show you key. I sent you an email. Just now? Yeah, just now. I'm not sure if that worked. Ah, uh, yeah, I got it. Is that a document or? Yeah, that's a document. So then if we, um, hold on, if I. Do I have this? Anyone who has it? Okay, perfect. So I can invite myself to it. There you go. So if you look at top right, where it says share. Yeah, that's what I did. Share. But then instead of, um, you know, you said anyone who has a link can edit. What happens is that anyone who has a link can edit, but it won't appear in my Google Drive because I can search for stuff in my documents. So if you look at it now, you'll see I've, I've invited myself and you're the owner. So um, what that means is now, say you're not around and I want to do some work on the document, I go into my Google Drive and I can find the document uh, in my shared folder and then I can edit it. You wouldn't, okay. It's cool. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know otherwise because why would you? But yeah, so next time okay. um, we can... No, yeah, but that's good to know. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, anyway, so we... uh, you asked. You asked. Um... Um, how do I say? I wanted to know. Did you sleep well last night? Okay. Okay. I put that into the random. Random stuff. Stuff. Dormiste okay. bem ontem à noite? À noite ontem Sim, muito bem. Dormiste bem ontem à noite? Dormiste bem. Dormiste bem. Sim, dormi bem. Mas dormi pouco. Ah. Uh, how do I say why again? Por quê? No. Por quê? Por quê? That's it. Por quê? It's Italian, actually, isn't it? Uh, por quê? Um... Why? Por quê? Okay, okay, anyway, let's let's stop because this is more new words again, but I hope that you get better. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, you want, you want to um, go over it again, or maybe I think we should practice a little bit more of the conversation, what do you think? Sí, sí. Um, how do I say I agree? Concordo. Concordo. I can write that, that's phonetic, isn't it? Is that like concordo, like that? Sí, sí, perfect, concordo. Okay. Uh, where is that? Okay, yeah, see, sí. perfect. Ace. Yes. Um, are you writing anything or? Not now. I'm closing other other people messaging me. I'm closing it now. I just want to do uh, it. Okay. 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 Vamos okay. começar. Olá. I'll ask some random stuff. Let's try and make a conversation. Okay. Uh, oi. Uh, tudo bem? Sim, sí, tudo bem. Obrigado. E, e tu? Uh, e... Como vai tudo bem? Uh, sim, tudo bem. Uh, o que fizeste hoje? What are you doing today? No. What did you do today? Uh, say again. Uh, Pode posso, posso repetir, por favor? O que fizeste hoje? Uh, o que fizeste? How do I say not, not much? Uh, não, não fiz muito. No, no fish. <laughs> no, fish. No. I didn't do. Um, no muito, much. Ah, uh, no fish. Um, can we put that in? Um, there's gonna, we're gonna have to sort out random stuff soon and put that into. Yeah, it. too many random stuff. No fish, muito fish. So I didn't do much today. Something like that. Now, fish muito. Um. Uh. Yeah. 
Agora, não fiz muito hoje. Uhum. Não fiz muito, muito hoje. Um, uhum. uh, but, uh, but, how do I say but? Better. Mas. M-A-S. Mas. Oh. But how do I pronounce that? Mas. Ah, ok. But. Mas. Uh, so, não, não fiz muito? No. Não fiz muito, mas. Não fiz muito hoje. Uh, mas uh, dopo? Não. Tarde? Não. À tarde? À tarde? À tarde? À tarde means later. Uh, it means during the afternoon. Ah, If não. you want to say later, you can say logo. Mais logo, so later. Ah, ok. Uh, mais logo, eu vou, não. Vou para, vou. Vou para uh, fi anniversary, anniversary, fiesta de aniversário. Sim, muito bem. Ok. Um, eu, hoje de manhã. Got it? Hoje de manhã. Uh, hoje é hoje, e depois amanhã. Não, that's tomorrow is amanhã. Oh, de you... manhã is uh, in the morning. I think I have that written down somewhere. I do, you. ok. Uh, não? Ah, uh, não sei. Hum, talvez não. Ah, uh, how do I say possibly? Uh, é possível. É possível. É possível. I'll add it here. Uh, did I spell that wrong? É possível, é possível. yeah. Hold on. Possível. Uh... Writing Spanish. Ah, okay. I think there was a document where I wrote down uh, how to say good morning, good night, but anyway, I'll add it here. Um, um, let's see if I can find it. No, but that's okay. Uh, Portuguese lesson two with Sandra. What's in here? Okay, this might be a difficult one for you to notice while you're listening, so, so pay attention. Okay. Uh, amanhã yeah. means tomorrow. Amanhã. If you take out the first A, yeah. you're left with manhã. Yeah. That, that means morning. So that means this morning or any a morning? Uh, manhã just means any morning. Ah, okay. Okay, so I was saying, eu... Yeah. Hoje de manhã. From today until tomorrow morning. No, no. Hoje. Yeah. De manhã. Oh, today, this morning. Okay, so this morning. This yeah. morning, I. Eu. Um, how do I say in a simple way? Hold on. Um, tive uma lição de tênis. You had a tennis lesson? Yes. I, just because I heard tennis and Lisa, I thought Lisa was lesson. I know, I know, I know. Sorry. No, no, I, uh, yeah, I knew Are you were going to do that, but that's enough for you to understand. Well, that's good. So say that again. Okay. Hoje, hoje de manhã. Yeah. Tive uma lição de tennis. Tive means I gave one lesson. Tive means, means I, I had. Ah, okay. Hold on. So I could say that when someone says, what did you have for dinner? Yeah, exactly. I had, eu tive, whatever. Ah, okay. Eu tive, uh, eat, or, so when I say, I, uh, eu tive para comer, uh, si? uh, lasagna. Lasagna, si, tá, perfeito. Eu tive, eu tive lasagna, si. Or, oh, oh, eu, eu if, if you want to use the verb eat, You can also, but you can also use the verb have. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so. Yeah. Então. Então. Um, tive uma aula de tênis. E um, fui às compras. You won't understand this one. It means I went shopping. Fui, fui. means to go out, does it? Like foi. Fui, yeah, it means to go. Yeah, oh, to go okay. out. Yeah. yeah, to go, sorry. Okay. Yeah, to go. As compras, it means like the grocery. Comprar is to buy, is that? Comprar, like comprar. Sí. Comprar. Sí. 
Okay. Compras is the general term for shopping. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's comprar, shopping. Comprar is the verb. Comprar. Okay, comprar is a verb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. E depois voltei para casa. So volta means to come back. Mm -hmm. Volta means come back. Voltei para casa. Voltei para casa is the I came back home. Sim. Um, so say that. So so if I were to go through that from the beginning, where you. Okay. So uh, I'll say it all, all at once. Hoje, uh, hoje de manhã, tive uma aula de tênis. Okay. Uma lição de tênis. Depois, fui às compras. Depois, voltei para casa. Okay. Eu. Eu tive uma lição de tênis amanhã. Não, amanhã. De manhã. De manhã, damn. De manhã? De manhã, yeah, let me explain that. De manhã. Ok, I'm confused now. Ok. Uh, oh, in the morning. In the... So, the, the word manhã means morning. But okay. I wanted to say in the morning. So, in order to say in the morning, I have to add the de. Ok. Ok. So, de means in. Uh, yeah. In the morning. In the morning. Ok. Yes. De, de manhã. Se eu tive uma lição de tênis de manhã. Uh -huh, um, muito bem, sim. Depois uh, vou. Não. Fui. Fui a uh, comprar. Fui. Uh, hold on, hold on. Fui para. So you don't say supermarket. You, you didn't say that. You say groceries. Because supermar supermercado is. That's you, can say, you can say supermercado. Supermarket, okay. Yeah, people will understand. We also use that. Okay. I've okay. forgotten. I, I already say that now because I've forgotten what you said. <laughs> no, that's to... okay. I, my, my, I, the idea is not for you to memorize or anything. It's just so that you get used to listening. Yeah, yeah, no, so, I'm beginning you to. Might, you might, because people, Portuguese people, they'll talk very fast to you and all you hear is shh, 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 shh. Can you, can you um, talk to me like normal but pretend? I'm not going to reply. I just want to see... Um, based upon what we've written, like all of this stuff, could you think of something that you could say like we're having a normal conversation? Like, hey Deepak, how are you? Let me tell you about my day. Um, okay, I'm going to describe what I did today in more detail. Okay. See if you can understand everything or okay. something, okay? Okay. Um, hoje de manhã acordei. Uh, ah, you might hear a few words that you don't know the meaning of. Yeah. Okay. But your Spanish might help. Okay. Hoje de manhã acordei, não me senti muito bem, mas uh, tive uma aula de ténis e com dois italianos pequeninos. Um, depois da aula, fui de autocarro para as compras e comprei um, coisas para a cozinha e comprei comida e depois voltei para casa. So this morning you had something for breakfast or something and it was good. I don't know if I got that right. Something. No, I said I said uh, this morning I woke up. I didn't feel very good, Damn. but I had I had a ten I had a, a tennis. Tennis, tennis lesson. Yes, yeah. you had a tennis lesson. You had two clients and one child, or uh, parents and a child. No, uh, two Italians, two kids, two Italians. Uh, I, I don't think I said kids. I just said two Italians. You, know, you 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 did. You said use the word niños, niño. Ah, pequeninos, pequeninos means. Uh, little kids. Ah, okay, but Ganinosh. Okay, so little kids. Um, and then you went on the train to the, the... bus. The bus. Oh, damn, Autogaro is bus, isn't it? Train yeah. is um, com... Comboio. No. Comboio. Si, 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 si. Comboio. The tube, the tube is metro. Ah, okay. It's called metro. Okay. So the uh, metro, the Lisbon's the only city that has a tube, I guess. Uh, no, uh, Porto also has a tube. Uh, it's like very I'm... good, actually. The tube in Porto is very good. Okay. Uh... Um... Yes, and then I said, I said, fui comprar coisas para a cozinha. So for co cocina is that's dinner, isn't it? 
What's it? it the means, kitchen. The it, kitchen. Kitchen. Steven. Yeah. So it means uh, I want to buy stuff for the kitchen. Okay. And food. E comida. E comida. Yeah. Comida. Okay. 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 I didn't. I didn't. I sp I spoke a little bit slower than I would have if I was in a normal conversation. Yeah, because you would have just blow my mind. Exactly. So that's why you should get used to it. Okay. Vamos continuar. Shall we go uh, on? Si, por favor. Sim, por favor. Okay. Vou continuar a fazer perguntas. I'm going to keep going in asking questions. I'm going to continue to ask questions. What does fazer mean? That word always confuses me. Fazer? Yeah, fazer. To do. To do. Uh, I'm going okay. to write down some verbs that I think you should look at. Okay. All right? That we use. That we should have a section oh. just for verbs, actually. Okay, we? yeah, I think so. We already have the verb to be. Oh, we have it at the bottom. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... You're going to write like that? Okay. Oh, okay, no, no, no. It's better in uh, Portuguese. Yeah. Ser. Vou adicionar. I'm going to add. O verbo. Um, fazer. Ok. Uh, fazer. Um, este primeiro. Fazer. Passad means past tense. Present is present tense. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe uh, Passad, you can you can look at both of them for each. Okay. It's it's quite it's quite a bit, but I think these are very basic uh, verbs. I need to know. So yeah. that you can start you know, trying to um, feel a bit more comfortable, like making your own sentences, complete sentences. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's present. It's pre does that mean present, past, and I don't. Present and past. You, yeah. Uh, but in what? Okay, just present and past. Are these? It's, it, yeah, just it's just so that you know what to study. Okay. I think it would be good if you could study both. Start with the present for for all of them. Okay. Then when you feel like slightly comfortable, just move on to the past. I think that's and maybe. What is, what's the difference between there and fazer? Ah, uh, okay. So there means to have. It's the verb to have. This is the verb to do. Okay. Okay. Again, uh, avoid. When you say to do, though, what does that mean? Like, as in, to do. I don't. To do something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Again, you will find this um all the time. Can you see me right now? Yeah, but yeah. Look. Don't, don't, you don't have to memorize that one, okay? No one uses it. No one. How do you pronounce it? Vo, no. Uh, vosh. 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 And this is wrong. Uh, hold on. Vosh. Okay. It's the one before last, every time. Okay. You don't have to memorize it. We don't use it. It's quite old fashioned. Present, past. And what does vosh actually mean, sorry? Vosh? Yeah. It means you, but you know that in your verbs you have two U's? Yeah. Okay. Uh, luckily for you, they um, they are conjugated exactly in the same way. Yeah. But for us, it's different. It's two different things. Okay? Okay. Wash, you would use if you were talking to someone in a very formal way, like uh, much older than you, but you will look like someone came out of the 13th century if you talk like that. Okay. Don't do not do it. <laughs> or someone from the countryside or something. Okay, so, just delete that then, yeah. Yeah. Um, and no one's going to talk to you like that. <laughs> okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Vamos continuar. Uh, si, si. Uh, okay. Um, Present. Vamos imaginar. Let's imagine. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, vamos, yeah. See? Sí? Ok. 
que estamos, que that we are. I'm going to try and speak a lot of Portuguese today. Okay, vamos, estamos, no, continue. Okay, uh, just one quick note. I added another verb um, here. The verb estar. Yes, yeah, estar. It also means um, it also means I am, for example. But it's used in another context. Um, I can say I am Sandra. Yeah. And this would be the verb to be. I am, and and we would use the verb ser. Eu sou a Sandra. So that's the first verb. Eu sou a Sandra. No, eu sou a ser. No, hold on. Eu sou yeah. a Sandra. Okay, I am Sandra. Verb to be in Portuguese. Verb ser. The first one. Okay. Yeah. But I can also say, uh, I am in London. But could you, if I want to say, could you put underneath this like four or five examples of different ones and how we'd use them? That might okay. make that might make it a bit easier because at the moment they feel quite abstract. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to write down difference between ser yep. and star. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Eu sou a uh, Sandra. Verbo ser. Okay. Eu estou em Londres. Uh, verbo estar. I'm just trying to make this difference because in English you would say I am Sandra, I am in London. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't do that. We have a different verb for each one of these situations. Okay? Which one's a verb in each of them? The, the, they're both verbs, so ser and estar. Yeah. Okay, they are both verbs, but they are different verbs. Okay. Um, and we use them in different situations. So I don't say Eu estou a Sandra. No. Yeah. Okay. In English, that would still be I am Sandra. Okay. But in Portuguese, that won't work. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. You say for in, Port in, you say in Portuguese, that won't work, or that will work. In um in Portuguese, that won't work. So if if I if I translate this into English. Yeah. Hi. So the verb here is that is exact is the same, right? In both sentences. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But in Portuguese there are different verbs. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm telling you. We make we, we have a distinction between a distinction between the um these two verbs. In English you would use them you use the same verb in the same situation. Okay? In Portuguese we split the verb to be into two. Yeah, I, I know this. Just like in Spanish as well. Okay, okay. So it's probably London. I'd say in Spanish, I I am in London. Do you know how to say that? I am in London. Soy de, soy de London is just no... No, that, that's I'm from, from London. London. I am in London. Um, um, I don't know actually. It would be yo, uh, yo estoy in, in Londres. In Londres. Okay, yo estoy in Londres. Okay, and and if you want to say I am Deepak, you would say Yo soy Deepak. Yo, same thing. Is this in Portuguese now or Spanish? No, no, no. I'm just trying to use uh, Spanish. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, no, I understand. Right. But so if you don't know how to say, if you don't know about this in Spanish, then that's okay. Eu so esto, esto, esto. If you want to refer to places or something like that, I see the use difference the there. Verb and how if is you... that pronounced, the second one? Eu estou em Londres. Eu estou em Londres. Eu estou em Londres. Eu estou... Yeah, okay. Okay, just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, and I added that verb. Um, uh, to your list. Okay, vamos continuar. Uh, si, uh, obrigado. Um, Difference between 7 and 5. 
Queres algo para comer? What are you having for food? But there was a word I didn't understand. I'm going to say it slowly. Okay. Queres algo para comer? Oh, what do you want for dinner? Uh, to eat, in general. Ah, sorry. What do you want to eat? Yeah, okay, comer is just food. How do you say dinner, then? Jantar. We don't actually have that, do we? Breakfast, lunch and dinner. No, I'll, I'll write that. Uh... I'm just... Where are you writing? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, let me see something. Okay, that's it. Okay. Pequeno almoco, no? Almoço. So you, you can see that the, the, the C has a little thing. Yeah. Uh, beneath it. Okay, that makes it. Uh, you have to pronounce it as almosu. If it does, if it didn't have that, you would say almoku. Almoku. No, but it's almosu because the C has that little thing on the bottom. Ah, okay. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, and that changes the pronunciation, does it? Yeah, from k to s, almosu. Yeah. Yeah. Almosu, almosu. So, pequeno, almost. Pequenos means, pequeno means little. Hold on. Uh, where, where are you typing on the screen? Have I scrolled? A, oh, okay, here we are. Sorry. Peque, okay. Pequeno, almoso. Pequeno, so, pequeno is, ah, uh, hold on. Pequeno is small, right? Yeah. But then isn't poco small? Or is it the same thing? So, what? Sorry? Poco? poco. Ah, poco, um... Poco means uh, little in quantity, not in size. Okay. But in quantity. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Like small, medium, large, and then two, just one, one plate. Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly. So pequeño is like a size, like a small plate. Yes, it will be the equivalent um, at uh, for the small size in clothing, for example. Okay, I understand. Pequeño. Pequeño. Pequeno almoço. Pequeno almoço. Almoço. Lanche. Jantar. Jantar. What does jantar mean? Dinner. Oh, jantar. Jantar. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I would say. Uh, what did you have for dinner? Um, I should know that then. Now, you giving me the words. Yeah, do you want to try? Uh, I'll help you. Pardon? You can try and I'll help you. Um, okay. It all, a question all, usually always starts with uke. Uke. Which means what? Oh, uke vu de. Uke takes de. How do you have How do you say you? How do you say you? Tu. Very good. Uke tu um, comer. Por, para, mm -hmm. jantar, no. Mm -hmm. Very good. Only thing is, what you said was this. This is all very good. However, you have to conjugate the verb, comer. Okay. Okay. O que tu comeste? Okay. okay. See the difference? Uko de comeste para jantar. Comeste? The other one is uto comesh para jantar. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, can we put the English um, translation <laughs> next? Just So, what's the difference between these two? The, the, the first one is wrong. Don't, don't translate ah, okay, the first Okay, sorry. What did you have? Sorry. What did you have for dinner? Uh, for dinner, not for dinner. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe we should we should focus on that today. Uh, how how to 
different ways of making a question. What do you think? How yeah. do you start? Okay, maybe let's try and break it down a little bit otherwise. That sounds good. Where the hell? Okay, I'm writing in the bottom before oh, the Oh, yeah, the bottom. Okay. Ah, okay. What? Okay. And, I'm sorry, where? And, uh -huh. Come. Oh, yeah, this is really useful. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, when? Um, cuando. Cuando. There's another one. Um, where, what, how, why, why? Why? Porque, que, huh? Uh, you, pork, you, can, you can just say like that, but if you want to put it in a sentence, you have to use this. Porque. Uh, well, let's 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 start with this one first. Okay. Okay. So okay. Um, uh, what did you have? What the hell is have? Oh, we got that in here. Have. Have. Uh, yeah, you have to look at the verbs a little bit. no. I had means il Uh You say il tive. Ah, il tive. Where are we? Are we near the bottom? No, I've just moved in. Uh, the, the, the question, how to make questions, are just before the verbs. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay. Yep, here we go. Okay, um... Sorry, bear with me one second. Yeah. Yeah, milky tea, please. Alright, thanks, Mom. Okay. Um... Okay. Oh, I got this really good game. Um, I recommend it if you ever have Portuguese students. Okay. Uh, I'll show it to you. It's called Mind Snacks. Mind Snacks. So this is, this is it. Oh, okay. And uh, so you play a game. If I turn the volume up. Can you see okay? Yeah, I can. So there's a frog and a fish. Can you lift it up just a little bit? Okay, yeah. Uh, so what does it say? It says 12 and you have to put the number in. And it has a timer and it gives you scores and it's like a game. Ah, okay, okay, it's, really, okay. it's fun. It's hard. Well, I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> Can you see it? Um, yeah, it says 10, dish. Is that it? Quatro? Yeah, so then it's like, okay, obviously for you it's very easy. But yeah, but, but, I, but I can't say, well, in black, uh, it's in Portuguese, and then in, in, the, in the square, is it English? Or? Yeah, in English or Portuguese. Okay, so, okay, I get it. So then they have lots of different games you can play and okay. they tell you which one's your worst scores and your best scores and da yeah. Danny used to use it because uh, when she had um, when she was learning uh, Spanish for moving to Malaga okay. and uh, I was like oh whatever but now because I was like oh Portuguese and uh, I was trying it yesterday before I went to bed and uh, it's gonna hopefully it's gonna really help me with learning with you because I want to try and do it every day now just for 20 minutes. Okay. 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 Yeah, that sounds good for your vocabulary and to exactly and to yeah. help, help me with, with remember some of the stuff you teach me. Yeah, uh, but I think I think you should make a priority now. Uh, learning a few verbs. Yeah, that it's makes sense. Okay. Okay. These these four. These if you four. can learn that, that will really be helpful for you. I think. Okay. So ser, de... that's why, that's why I think you have you have been struggling a lot when you're trying to make a sentence in the verb. That's always where you stop. So. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Let's do it. Um, so Elsa. I forgot what we were doing. You were writing uh, the questions, and then. Yeah. So that's and it. And then we're looking. So that's how you start. Okay. What did you do today? What did you? Okay. So that would start. What are you? No. What are you doing? So if you look. Okay. Vasel. 
No. What, What do you want to say? say? What are you doing? O que estás a fazer? That would be the present. O que estás a fazer? A fazer. A fazer. Sim. A fazer. Ok, ok. Estás a fazer. If you want to start, if you want to ask in the past, o que fizeste? O que fizeste? Fizeste. That would be the past. Fizeste. For example, o que fizeste ontem? What did you did you do yesterday? O que fizeste ontem? O que fizeste? Fizeste. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah, we're all over the place today. Let's um. Should we just um? I don't mind actually. Um. Can we go through? Uh, I'm looking at our list now. Can we go through um directions again? Okay, directions. Okay, sure. Coffee. Do you want to go over them, read them, or well, are you thinking, sure? Think, I'm thinking what I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable with hello, how are you? How old are yeah, you? That's I fine. Think, I think that, that we've covered. I mean, the second one about saying I'm from London but my family are from India, that I struggle with. Yeah, yeah but I mean, that's, that's okay. Okay, um, coffee shop. I think I'll. Quieres tomar algo para beber? Yeah, that's okay. So, yeah, can we go to directions? Directions, I feel, I don't feel comfortable with at the moment. Okay. Okay. Shall we go over it one, once and then I'll ask you some questions? Yeah, yeah, if we go over it together. So, okay. can I, uh, so, uh, uh, on, onji? No, onde? Onde? On, onde é o centro da cidade? Muito bem. Onde é o centro da cidade? Sim. Cidade. Direita. Mm -hmm. uh, Ah, esquerda. It's not esquerda. 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 Silent E. Yeah. Um, em frente. Em frente. Straight ahead. Em frente. Okay. Uh, vira a esquerda. Vai mm. sempre em frente. Um, and then, volta para trás. Volta mm -hmm. para trás. Como vou? Como vou? Ah. Mm -hmm. Como vou para o... Oh, God. This one again. Como... <laughs> Como vou para o? Como vou? So, como vou? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Como so, o, uh, o and you together, you pronounce it o. Vou. Yeah. O alone, you pronounce it u. U. Okay. Okay. So, you were doing very good. Como vou para o museu? Como, muito bem. Como vou para o... Okay. Como... Sim, sim. Tá, não, tá muito bem, sim. Okay. Okay. Uh, obrig... uh, thanks. Yeah, obrigado. Sorry. Obrigado. Of course. Uh, uh, of course, it's certo. What? No, of, is of course claro or certo? Sí, 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 sí. Uh, certo, no. Certo, italiano. Oh, certo. Damn, sorry. Portuguese. No, but é parecido. It's similar. Okay. Uh, in, in Portuguese, yeah. é certo. Certo. Okay. Certo. Um, como vou? Okay. Um, and then, onde posso? Onde posso? No, onde? Posso, onde posso? Uh -huh. Onde posso apanhar o autocarro número 12? Muito bem. Uh, onde posso apanhar? So take. Onde posso? Onde? Where can I take the bus number 12? Autocarro. On, onde posso autocarro número 12? Tens que apanhar. Tens que apanhar. Tens que apanhar o autocarro. Ok. Um, yeah. Okay, can you read them out for me? I want to just slowly, one at a time. I just want to hear how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Onde é o centro da cidade? Onde é o centro da cidade? Da cidade, not ciudad. Ah, da cidade. So, onde é o centro da cidade? Mm -hmm. Muito bem, sim. Direita. Direita. Esquerda. Esquerda. Em frente. Não, em frente. Em frente. Em frente. Em frente. Em frente. Não, em frente. Ok. Em frente. Em frente. Ok, em frente. Vira à esquerda. Vira à esquerda. Vira à esquerda. Yeah. Sim. Vai sempre em frente. Vai sempre em frente. So just keep going no, straight ahead. Yes, straight ahead. Sim. Sempre means always in front. Is it sempre always or forever? No. Uh, always. It means always. Okay. Okay. Uh, volta para trás. 
volta para atrás, go back. So, um, donde? No, not donde. It's como, it's como, it's not donde. Uh, onde? Onde is the music, music, mm, el, uh, museo is uh, para atrás? No. Sí. Volta para atrás. Volta para atrás. A volta para atrás. Sorry, I'm just trying to put things together. So. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Uh, como vou para o museu? Como vou? Como vou? Não, como vou para o museu? Muito bem. Como, sim, sim, sim. Muito bem. Como, como vou para o museu? museu. Ok. Ok. O museu é muito longe? Onde posso apanhar? One second. Go, can you do the last one again? Ok. O museu, o museu é muito longe? O museu e muito longe? É muito longe? É muito longe. This is, is, is the museum too far? Is the museum very far? Or how far is the museum? Ok, ok. Last one. Onde posso apanhar o autocarro número 12? O onde... Não. Onde posso... See, why is it... Um... Why is it when you say po posso? Oh no, it's a spody. Posse, po P O D E is pronounced posse, isn't it? Like, can you repeat P -O that, please? P O D E. Body. Body. Yeah, that's a, a similar. Uh, it's a different conjugation of the word of, of the of the verb. Uh, uh, the verb what? Can I can you can? What's the verb? Body. This means where can I take? Yeah, and how okay. how is it pronounced? Como uh, onde posso? Huh? What are you? Oh, sorry. Okay, onde posso? Okay. Yeah, I mean the last sentence. Yeah. Okay, onde posso apanhar o to? No, e no o o onde posso o apanhar o no onde posso apanhar o to caro. Autocarro número dos. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, in Lisbon, they also have another mode of, uh, mode of transportation. Is the uh, eléctrico. Have you, have you... Is that like a tram? Yeah. What do you call that? Eléctrico? Eléctrico. Ah, okay. Will people see me and automatically know that I'm foreign? Yes. <laughs> Are there uh, are, uh -huh. are there many Indians in Lisbon? Are there any? No, there are, there aren't that many. Uh, we don't have like an Indian community. I mean, the 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 the, uh, the most uh, the biggest uh, population we have um, from outside of Portugal is Africans. Ah, uh, is that North Africans like Moroccan? Ah, uh, no, South Africa. No, well, actually, North and South Africa and Brazilians. That's probably okay. Yeah. Because uh, we have some, uh, we, we had some colonies in, in Africa, so yeah, yeah. So most of our immigrants come from Africa. Ah, okay. And in Lisbon, you will see um, several. You see a lot of African people and Brazilians also probably. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you still think that I should stay in Lisbon or should I go to Porto? I mean, to live in Porto. Yeah, for three months. Or no, 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 I think you should stay in Lisbon. Okay. Will it get too boring in Porto? Uh, I prefer Lisbon. Uh, Porto is a bit smaller. Um, I think it's a bit dirtier, I think. I don't know. Uh, people might be just a little bit more outgoing in the north, I think. But I think Lisbon, there's much more to see and to do. Is, is Lisbon, Lisbon's in the north. No, Lisbon, Lisbon's in the south, is it, or in the north? I'm in, uh, in the center. Okay, okay. And where's Porto? On the, in the north? In the north, in the north. So if you want to, like, during the weekend, if you want to go someplace else, you're better in Lisbon. Okay. Yeah? Is, is Lisbon and Porto far? Is it expensive to go from one city to the other? I don't think so. Uh, I live in the middle, yeah. right between Porto and Lisbon. And uh, a train, a train to, to Porto costs me, it should be around uh, 11 pounds. Okay, okay. Just just to go. Uh, and to Lisbon, it might be just a little bit more expensive. Maybe maybe 15 pounds or something. So when I'm there, you have to... Um, you'll come to Lisbon and hang out, but then 
Would could I also see your town? Would you would you will you be going back in the next three months? Uh, yes, uh, I hope so. Uh, I want to go maybe in April. Will you be there in April? Yeah, is... I I leave um, Lisbon April thirty first. Okay, I'm I'm trying to see if I can go before that. Because if you can, then I'll come maybe just for one or two days and just see come see the city with you if that's okay. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Coimbra is very is very uh is very small, but I I think it has a very nice atmosphere. Because it's a student city, okay. uh, city, yeah. right? uh, and we have one of the um, oldest universities in the world, so that's the main attraction. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, there are a lot of students um, partying and stuff like that. It sounds good for a weekend then. Yeah, yeah. You have to go either in a Thursday or Tuesday, so because those are the two days. The party uh -huh. nights. Yeah. Okay, Tuesday or Thursday. All right, perfect. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you some questions about directions, okay? Okay. Um, on the hotel. Uh, on the hotel. Uh, Try to come up with a few directions. Turn left, turn right, okay. right, straight, right. Uh, oh, okay. Primero. Uh, Sempre a, a frente. Uh -huh. eh, en tal. El... Depois, not in town, depois. Oh, depois. Uh, and then, en tal is then, isn't it? And then? No, en tal is like, well. Like I think, like, well, okay. No, no, I don't um, know. Or it can mean, uh, in, if, if you say it like, en tal, it means, uh, what's up? Ah, okay. Okay, you can have different meanings. Okay, okay. So then I'd say después, yeah, and then. Yeah, okay. so it means, uh, and then. Okay, siempre al frente, después, uh, uh, primera, izquierda, izquierda, no, izquierda, izquierda, mm -hmm. eh, después, uh, how do you say second, segundo? Segunda. Ah, segunda, segunda direita, uh, segunda direita. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's just in front of you. How do you say that? Está mesmo em frente. É mesmo em frente. É mesmo em frente. Yeah, we, we wrote that somewhere, didn't we? Uh, not exactly like that, but similar. Okay. I'm going to give you now instructions. See if you can in understand. So I'd say to you, Disculpe. Uh, uma, uma, uma perguntar. No. Perguntar. Uma pergunta. Pergunta. Uhum. How do you say it? Pergunta. Sim, pergunta. Okay. Desculpe, pergunta. Desculpe, pergunta. Um, aonde é o hotel? Ok. O hotel? Yeah. <coughs> para ir para o hotel, to go to the hotel. Ok. Para ir, uh, so you say para ir. Para ir, to go. Ok. Para ir, la, would you say para ir, lo, la hotel ou? Uh, para ir para o hotel. To go okay. to the hotel. Para ir para o hotel. Yeah. Okay. But just try and memorize the, the way because that's what you'll need to know because we can't anticipate every single sentence that they might say. Yeah, just try and pick up on the directions. Okay, cool. <coughs> para ir para o hotel, <coughs> tens que ir sempre em frente. Okay. Virar à esquerda. Okay. Virar na primeira à esquerda, okay. depois virar na segunda à direita, ir sempre em frente e depois viras à viras na uh, terceira, third, à direita e o hotel é aí. Is that two sec left and left, then then right, then Third on the right. Third on the right. Third on the right. I tried to keep up, but then I got confused. Okay, but were you were you? All, <clears throat> not not all of it, just parts of it. Um, say it, say it again. If you, if uh, you I might not say it again uh, exactly the same way. But I'll, write I'll, it down quickly, like one left, two rights on a piece of paper. So you, because we can, if you say it quickly, I want to try and break it down to see if I can remember. Okay. Because that's okay. this is quite this is quite useful for me actually. I'm just trying to improve comprehension. Like what? Yeah, exactly. 
Okay. Uh, first. I don't want to be a gringo the whole time. <laughs> Second. Is it just in Latin America they call people gringos, or they don't do it in Portugal? Do they? We don't. We don't. We don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, would you? If you say that, uh, if uh, if they don't see like a lot of TV shows or movies, they they wouldn't know what it is. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we call. Uh, what, what do we call? What do you call? We, what do you call people? British people. Um. The 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 Americans are the, Camanish. Because they say come on all the time. Oh, come on ish. Okay. Come on. Uh, the English people sometimes um, people call them beefish. Beefish. It means beefish. It means steaks. That wouldn't apply to you. Steaks. Steaks. Yeah. Steaks like like what you eat, like a steak. Oh, okay. That wouldn't apply to me because I'm Hindu. <laughs> no, it won't. No, because I'll, I'll explain to you why. Because. Uh, we in in the summer we have like a lot a lot a lot of British people in the south. Okay, yeah. Because they are usually very white. Okay. They get just a little bit of sun and they get all red. Ah, okay. And that's why we call them steaks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it's affectionate. It's not like. Yeah, no, that's quite funny. Okay, I understand now why it wouldn't apply to me. It's okay. Yeah. So now you understand. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Para ir para o hotel. Sí. Tens que virar na primeira à direita, yeah. depois segunda à direita yeah. e depois na terceira à esquerda. O hotel é aí. First right, second right and then a left. Uh, first right, second right and then third on the left. Oh, third uh -huh. on the left. So tell me about that bit, third on the left, not the third left, but third on the left. How, I didn't understand that, I misunderstood. Okay. Eu disse, não, eu, eu disse... Uh, vira na terceira à esquerda. Vira na terceira. Vira, vira, so turn. Turn. Third. Na terceira, on the third. Third. Uh, à esquerda, on your left. Does that be third, turn on the third street on the left, or is that the third building? That's what I get confused about. What's the difference? What's the difference? No, that would be the street. Like one, one, two, three. What do you call the street? Is it calle? It's not. No, rua. Rua. That will also be useful, that's a good point. Uh, rua. You might want to know prédio. So this is building. Rua means... And how do I ask what is the name of this street? Okay. Um, qual é o nome da rua? Qual é... Okay, that, that's a different way of starting a, a question, by the way. Yeah, I just noticed. You can add that. Say again? It's a, it's a different... We don't, um, we don't have that, do we? No, I'm going to add it. Qual é o, qual é o nome de rua? I'm just because I'm going out soon. I'm going to email all of this to myself and read it on my phone while I'm on the train. Okay. Yeah, I'm literally just doing it now. Um. Qual é o nome de rua? All right. Let's do it one more time, a different one. Oh God. Okay. Let's go. Vais sempre em frente, viras à esquerda, depois continuas sempre em frente, viras na segunda à direita, sempre em frente. Ok. O hotel fica na, no terceiro prédio. O hotel é o terceiro prédio. Ok, can you repeat that whole thing again? Ok. Ah, ok. Um, was it first left, and then straight up, and then second right, and then it's like the third building on the left? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Was that right? Yeah. Think. Yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? We finish. Yeah. Could we um do this now quickly, just for the first last like we'll do it for like literally just five minutes or less. Um, okay. Can you just um 
ask me for some words in English and I'll see if I can remember them. Just like test. I just want to see what I don't know at all and what I do know. Okay, I'll ask you in English and you try, and try to repeat it in in in, in, in Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm you, ask... you can help me because I'll get stuck. Okay. I'm not going to ask about the coffee shop conversation. Let's focus on directions, numbers, and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Um, maybe just a few uh, phrases or expressions. Uh, ¿Quieres comer para... Uh, ¿Quieres algo para, com, com, para beber? How do you say it? What do you want to drink? Uh, ¿Qué quieres para beber? Uh, ¿Qué quieres? Uh, ¿Qué quieres? Uh, ¿Qué quieres para beber? Um, so not, how do I say, not, how do I say, okay. where can I take the train? Where, on the, on the, very good. On the train is Gumboyo. Mm -hmm. On the, Tomar, no. That's... Uh, yeah, you can say that, however, that wouldn't be 100% correct. This is the most, uh, this is one of the difficult ones. Uh, um, on the something, Gumboyo. Um, okay. on the, on the, uh, post, on the, yeah, posso, posso, apanhar, ah, on the posso, apanhar, o comboio, o comboio, on the, okay, so, say that all again for me, on the posso, apanhar, o comboio, on the, what does posso mean again, where, uh, can, where, can, posso is can, so, uh, so, on the posso, apanhar, no, I missed something, si, 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 no, está bem, okay, Onde posso apanhar? Onde? Onde posso apanhar o, é, com, o, o comboio? O comboio. Muito bem, muito bem. How do you say tomorrow? Amanhã. How do you say in the morning? Manhã. De manhã. Ah, oh, damn. Damn. Okay, yeah, sorry. De okay. manhã. How do you say... Um... Ontem, is yesterday. Ontem, yes. yes. And then, uh, now is... What's now? Adesso is Italian. Ahora is Spanish. It's similar to Spanish. Ora. Agora. Ah, agora. Damn, agora. Okay. How do you say... Year is anu. Anu. Sorry, I've just realized I'm beginning to actually... I can now... I'm beginning to think I'm remembering some stuff now and I'm feeling like I'm not... It's not completely like... Huh? Uh, anyway, okay. sorry, keep going. Let's see if you remember this one. How do you say what time is it? Que hora está? Muito bem. Can you answer it? Uh, it ahora, no, agora, uh, que hora está? So, what I say now the time is, agora, so? agora está, uh, agora está, Treze quarenta uno. Quarenta um. Quarenta um. Muito bem. Um, I'm gonna say it in Portuguese now. Uh, see if you can see if you can understand. Um, são quatro e meia. Quatro is four. Uh, three, uh, four thirty. Quatro e meia. Yes. Muito bem. Um, So, How do you say so, Thursday? So before I go, what I'll do is you and your boyfriend come and I'll buy dinner for you both to say thank you and it'd be nice to meet him anyway. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Maybe we can practice some Portuguese. You don't have to study though. Say again? Um, say so we can practice our Portuguese, Yeah. but you don't have to study. You don't have to prepare for the dinner. No, I want to. It's pressure. <laughs> Tell me I have to prepare otherwise. Okay, okay. I'll only speak in Portuguese. Oh, fuck my life. I'll Sorry. order in Portuguese. No, that's okay. Well, we're gonna, um, we can go to a Portuguese restaurant. So you can choose a place and then we'll go. Okay, I only know like Nando's. I know it's Portuguese, but I, I don't know. There's no, one, there's no one Portuguese there. Maybe there's... Anyway, we'll, 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 we'll work yeah. it out. Your, your boyfriend... Yeah. Um, it's not Juan, that's in Spanish. João. 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 He comes tomorrow, right? Amanhã. Sim, sim, amanhã. Ele chega amanhã. Muito bem. Okay. Um, diz-me, diz-me, tell me, os dias da semana. Diz-me os dias. Domingo. Sim, mas todos. Ah, domingo feira. No, no, no. solo domingo. 
Não. Toda, toda a semana. Como se diz, todos os dias da semana. Tudo, todos os dias, todos os dias da semana. The, all of the days in the week. Sim, como se diz. Oh, ok. Fagueta feira, fagueta feira. Um, how do I say? Um atim? Não, um momento. Um momento. Um momento. Uh, how, do, how do I say I'm thinking? Estou a pensar. Ah, estou a pensar. Um momento, estou a pensar. Ok. Oh, and... Depois? Não, how do I say ok, and then? So, um, anyway, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, Monday is... I know, ok. Hoje is um, sábado. Amanhã, mm -hmm. amanhã. Mm -hmm. Muito bem. This morning. Amanhã is tomorrow. Amanhã is domingo. Muito bem. E depois? I'm, I'm, I'm going to work the other way because I'm not sure yet. I'll do the ones that okay. I know. Okay. Sorry, it's because I'm not sure. Uh, ainda não sei. Uh, uh, pero, pero, not pero. Mas. Mas. Uh, wait, but wait. How do I say wait? Espera, espera. Ah, uh, ainda não sei, mas espera. Ok, eu espero, eu espero. Uh, Sexta is Friday, quinta is Thursday, quinta is um, Wednesday. No, quarta. Ah, quarta. And then ter terça, terceira? No, terça. Te Muito bem, terça, sim. Terça, double. No. Segunda. Damn, oh, oh segunda. It's Tuesday. Uh, no, segun segunda is Monday. Oh. Terça. Tuesday. Oh, because it starts with Tuesday 2, doesn't it? And you don't know why. Yeah, I was, was going to say that. I was thinking so, of 1. I was like, what? I don't understand. It's not Uma. It's not Uma. Okay. Yeah. It starts with 2. We don't know why. Yeah. So, it's segunda, terça, quarta, quinta, sexta. Sábado, domingo. Segunda, terça, quinta. No, quarta. quarta okay. Quarta. Segunda, terça, quarta, quinta, sexta. Sábado, domingo. Muito bem. Then, domingo, sábado, sexta, quinta. No, yeah. Quinta, sim, sim, sim. quarta, terceira. No, terça. Ter, terça segundo. Segunda. Segunda. Very good. Okay. Muito bem. Okay, that was a good lesson. <laughs> yeah. Um, just one interesting thing before we go. Yeah, you tell me. Um, in Lisbon, you will hear it in a very informal conversation. The expression, um, hold on, where is the random stuff? Is some of our random stuff missing? No, okay, I found it. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong document, that's why. Okay. Uh, you will hear this a lot. My father says it literally like almost every sentence. What does he say? Pa. Uh, it doesn't have a translation. It's just a, just so that if you're in a coffee shop talking to people... Is it like, you, an ex, is it like a filler? Like, uh, and then, and then, oh, uh, okay. It, it can be, but uh, a filler would be more like this. Because this might mess up your whole comprehension of the sentence. Pa usually comes in the beginning or or the end of the sentence. Like for example, what does it uh, mean? Say if you want to say I don't know, man, something like that. Yeah. You would say no say pa. This is kind ah, of how okay. you use it. Like okay. it's like, I don't know, man. Like no sepa. I end no sepa. Si, si, si. <laughs> but don't say it to me. Because it's not like it's rude. It's not rude, but it's very, very informal. It's more like, okay. don't bother me. So I'd say, how would I say, how, like how, how would I say what's up, man? Um, but like a friend, not like. A... Então pa. Então pa. So is that nice? Is that friendly to say someone? That you that's know? Right. between, especially between guys, between two guys, it's very common. Okay. Two young guys like your age, our age. Yeah. If you if you get really familiar with them. Then you can say that. In Tampa, it means how you doing, but in a very informal way. Okay, okay, but and then don't say that. Don't say that to a girl, anyway. Okay, that's like. It's not. It's not rude, but it's not. Just weird. 
it's yeah, it's, yeah. I don't have any any friends like male friends that that talk to me like that. Okay, okay. Between between um guys, yeah, it's quite common. Okay, okay. And then and taupa. No, sorry. And then tipo. Tipo, it's like um. Uh, it, I've it, heard it, that before in a different language. I swear, tipo. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What does it mean? Uh, it means when you use the word like in a sentence. Okay. It's like when you're thinking. Oh, it's like you know. It's ah. the same. People... It doesn't mean that you like something. It's just like it was like it was like. Um... No, 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 yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's when you're thinking. Oh, uh, you want to say examples. So, I, and so think... if you ask me how was Portuguese, and I'd say it was like it was like. Um, so I'd say tipo, tipo. Si, si. Como se dice? What's the word? Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so. And and uh, very likely you will hear both of them in the same sentence. Ah, okay. Então, um, por exemplo, epa, foi do tipo something. Okay, we were, okay. That means, um, I don't know, it was something like, it was like, I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> that you will hear a lot. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to speak tomorrow as well? Yeah, if you're around. Uh, I, I don't. Are you? I, I'm beginning to have fun as I'm beginning to understand a little bit more now. It's like, okay. yeah, uh, yeah. I hope this isn't too boring for you. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. Definitely not. Don't yeah. worry. Okay. I, um, yeah. And if I, I would, I actually, I think it's useful for me because if I want to teach Portuguese, this is like a practicing as well for me. We should. Um, d you should definitely put an ad up on Gumtree for Portuguese because I. Yeah, thought, maybe I will. Maybe I yeah. will. Um, yeah. Okay. So what time is good for you tomorrow? Um, let me see. Because um, Joao is coming tomorrow, isn't he? So. Yeah, but only only at um eight or something, eight p.m. Ah, okay. So you're around in the daytime. Yeah, I have to do some stuff around the house anyway. So like, like um, is one o'clock okay for you? Yeah, one o'clock, two o'clock, whatever. Right. One o'clock is okay. All right, perfect. So um. Adeus. I will forget about that one. Adeus. It means goodbye. Ah, adeus. Adeus. Um, we have that. No, I forgot about that one. How do I say? Uh, I should just know how to say have a good evening. Uh, Sorry? Uh, noite. Sorry? Boa noite. Have a good evening. Boa noite. Sim. Have a good afternoon. Or what, what, what would I say? Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Ah, boa tarde. Boa tarde. Hablar uh, uh, amanhã. No. Sim, falamos. Ah, falamos amanhã. Falamos. Falamos. Oh, falamos. Sim. Falamos amanhã. Eu tenho que ir almoçar. Eu vou almoçar agora. Eu vou agora means agora now. Uh, eu vou. I am going out now. I'm going out now. Almoçar. Lunch. Have lunch. Oh, you're going to have lunch now. Yeah. Sorry, I completely messed the lesson up. Now I was like, what? What? <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, you back. Okay. okay, so I'll talk to you tomorrow yeah, then. Yeah, thanks. F1. Yeah. See. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.